everybody, welcome back. Tom Zakvea back again for Cult of Athena. Today we're going to look at some different types of chainmail, and since Ryan knows a heck of a lot more about chainmail than I do, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got today. All right, yeah, basically uh, we're just going to run down a couple of basic points about mail. Uh, technically, it's called mail, not chainmail. Uh, chainmail is a modern term that we use now, okay. but in period they just called it mail, um, so that's technically correct. Uh, basically, uh, what, we're de what we're dealing with specifically here is European style, which is uh, four rings through one. Uh, if you guys can see that, you're, you're probably familiar with the basic male links like this. Uh, other cultures use more complex styles, but we're just going to be talking about your average uh, European style four and one links right now. Um, basically, there's all kinds of varieties of male available right now. Um, but it really just boils down to a couple of differences in how it's assembled or the material that we're using. Um, mostly what you're going to see is either some variation of steel, um, titanium on the high end, and aluminum for more like costume armor. Uh, and then the other major point is going to be uh, if they're flat rings, round rings, and then how they're connected, either butted or riveted. And then any kind of combination of the above. Sometimes you'll get uh, flat mixed with round, you'll get butted mixed with riveted or solid rings or whatever. So it's just variations of the same thing. Uh, but we got some examples here we can show you guys. All right, here we go. Your basic male shirt. How heavy is this? This, this one here is not too bad. I'd say this is maybe about 30 pounds if I had to guess. Is that a standard for like as far as like the, uh, the uh, weight of that or is that too light? No, this is about average. Uh, you can get some that are up to close to 40 and some are a little thinner. Uh, part of what makes that is going to be the gauge of the rings and the size of the rings. Uh, that's also another thing to consider when you're buying mail. Uh, especially if you go with a really cheap shirt, sometimes you'll get very thin gauge steel or the rings will be very large so they use less rings. Uh, in those cases the shirt can be very light because there's not a lot to it. This is about your average. Technic, uh, typically you'll see about 16 gauge steel rings. Okay. Uh, 14 exists somewhere out there but it's really heavy and 18 is a little too thin. With 18 gauge you can usually pull it apart just by going like this. Damn, this, is, this is 16. And it holds up pretty well when, you, when you've got them all stacked like that. So 18, you might as well wear a winter jacket. Yeah, saying, right? 18, I don't recommend <laughs> it. You'll pull it apart really easy. So this is your average butted rings here. As you can see, nothing holds them together. They're just closed up next to each other. And we'll show kind of the pluses and minuses of these different types as we do some demonstrations. But this is just to get you the general idea. Butted round rings here. Uh, the other big difference in the in the mail is what they're finishing them with. In this case, this is a zinc coated finish. That's why it's so shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, with zinc coating, it won't rust. It'll just darken over time, which actually looks pretty cool once it starts getting dark. Uh, it starts out looking super shiny like that. Cool. Other finish possibilities. We've got this was just an unfinished mild steel. You'll see what happens if you don't take care of it starts rusting up really easily yeah uh, some people leave it in that state it's kind of authentic looking you know but it's messy as hell <laughs> so like, there's a lot of oil on it too then right well yeah tech typically you'll want to uh, leave some oil on there to prevent this from happening mm -hmm. here we've just got a darkened blackened type finish and these are flat rings right yeah in this case this is flat ring uh, we'll talk about the different styles here a little bit in a minute okay I'm just kind of showing you some of the different finishes and here's a semi-darkened finish. This is like an oil finish that they give them. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can also get stainless steel in some cases too. Uh, but it, it doesn't make a big difference as far as durability or anything. It's just more ease of maintenance. All right, so we've shown the round butted rings. Here we've got actually flat butted rings, which is something you don't see very often. A lot of times with the flat, uh, you'll see them riveted. Mm -hmm. This is a way to get that look of the flat rings, but at a lesser price, uh, because necess necessarily the uh, the riveting adds a lot to the expense of the mail. 
they have to hand rivet every single one of those rings. So riveted mail can start to get expensive. There's a little labor into mm -hmm. it on the time for every shirt. Exactly. Wow. This rusted up one here you'll see is round riveted rings uh, with round rivets. Every single one of those is riveted. You can also get them alternating, which I think we have an example over here. These are alternating ones? I believe these are alternating. Yes. These are they're, crossed, they're crossed up then, right? Yeah. You'll see on this one, we're looking at flat rings, also with dome rivets, but in this case, they're alternating with uh, solid rings, I think. Let me see. Yes. That's yeah, you guys can see here. It's almost like washers. They'll stamp out solid rings and then alternate every other ring is riveted. This is probably your strongest one you, that you can do because there's less breakable parts. You've got solid rings, so it's not as many rivets to pop. Um, and as far as historical accuracy goes, this is a technique that they did use. So mm -hmm. uh, it's also a little cheaper than going with every single ring being riveted as well. Right. So links everything together. Right. There's. I guess probably no reason to go with uh, fully riveted rings when you can go with alternated, on, on, honestly, because it's a little sturdier and mm -hmm. it's a little cheaper, so that's good. All right, and on this one, we've got something a little different. Here you'll see solid flat rings alternating with round riveted rings, which is uh, kind of a, a, a new thing that's that has come out. It's a it's kind of a cheap way of getting riveted flat ring. It looks like riveted flat ring, but by using these thin round rings, they can keep the price lower than they than they typically do on these. This is pretty affordable, at least on our site. It's pretty cheap. It's a modification, then, correct? It's not like a period. Right. Yeah. This is. It, yeah. They they didn't today. specifically have something like this, but okay. it's uh, it's a little bit of a compromise. It gives you a pretty good historic look if you're not getting. Too, too into the particulars. Oh, okay. You know, it's uh, it's a pretty good option. And then here. here we actually have aluminum. You guys can't tell how light this is, but this is a headpiece, a coif, and it's got the little flap in the front on this one. But um, I would say that this weighs probably about one pound, whereas a uh, steel one would probably be about maybe four, five pounds. Uh, in this case, they've anodized the finish to give it this dark gray finish so it doesn't look like shiny aluminum. I see. Uh, and this this look here is very much like what galvanized or zinc-plated mail will look like if you let it weather and darken over time. You start to get this kind of a look. So this is this is just a, a coating on here then? Yeah, this is just a coating. Okay, it's just made it look it's kind of like antiques. a powder coating. Yeah, okay. so it gives it looks authentic. It looks like steel. You can't really tell by looking at it, but it's aluminum, so it's really just for costume. But you would feel it if it was. If oh yeah, you feel the difference. If you wear a full <laughs> aluminum shirt, you'll know the difference versus a full steel suit, that's for sure. Uh, for for anything like Ren Fairs or plays or just general costuming, uh, if you're not using it, you don't care that it's real armor, aluminum is a good way to go. Uh, it can be expensive compared to steel, mm -hmm. um, but I mean, if you're gonna be walking around eight hours in it, you'll notice a difference, it may be worth it for you. Yeah, this is a lot lighter than the yeah. other ones, but I'd rather not get my head split open and use no. a steel. No, and you know, maybe we'll try and hack with the edit, hack that thing up and see what happens. Um, I don't know, I think that's probably about it, other okay. than talking about the different types of garments you can get out of mail, which is again, almost anything, uh, from shirts to leggings, the head pieces, and then all of the different uh, little accessories like, um, you can get like a skirt piece on its own. You can get shoulder and arm pieces mm -hmm. to attach to gambesons, um, neck neck protectors, everything. Uh, so pretty much anything you can think of, they'll make it out of mail. So uh, you got a lot of options. Cool. Uh, I think that's probably it talking about it. I don't know what else to say. That's about it. Mail's mail. 